beneficent the most merciful. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day, the honorable jurist and our brothers and sisters who listen to my speech. Thank you very much for your opportunity that is given to me. I am Asmina Jayita from SMB Tem Mutiara Insan Sukarjo. First of all, let's say thanks to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala who bless us and are mostly that we could stay safe and healthy in this pandemic era. Secondly, may salawat and salam be with our beloved Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessing be upon him, which brought us from the darkness to the lightness. Dear brothers and sisters, in this occasion, I would like to talk about why we should love Prophet Muhammad. As we all know, our Prophet Muhammad already died in 632 Kaman era. Our great grandparents weren't even born yet. So why should we, as a Muslim, are urged to believe him and love him after Allah? According to Muhammad Abdul Basikal, Magister of Science, in his web, Rumaisa.com, there are two reasons why we love someone. First, it concerns with Zat, which is an essence of a being, whether it's physical or not physical. The more perfect a being, the easier he is to be loved. Allah said in Quran Surah Al Qalam, verse 4, and indeed you are of a great moral character. The verse gives us a point that our Prophet Muhammad is the most excellent and perfect in attitude, personality, character. Prophet Muhammad was someone who cared for his Ummah the most. This goes along with Quran Surah at Tawbah, verse 128. If Allah already praises and loves the Prophet faithfully, why would we as Allah believers are there to neglect him? The second reason why we love someone is related to the benefit we, can, we get from loving him. Well, actually, whether we love him or not, Prophet Muhammad is still considered glorious. Yet, if we want to know what a benefit we can get by loving our Prophet, here are some points. The first point that we can get by our love, by loving our Prophet is, we will experience the sweetness of faith. As the Hadith stated, the Prophet said, Whoever has three traits within himself will find the sweetness of faith. One will love Allah and his messenger more than anything else. Church, Al-Bukhari, and Muslim. Experience the sweetness of faith means feeling the pleasure of conducting obedience and pleasedness in religion. This feeling will affect the world matter. Another benefit that we can get by loving our Prophet is we will be gathered with the Prophet. In Sahih al-Bukhari 3688, a man as the Prophet is the day of judgment, saying, When will the day of judgment be? The Prophet said, What have you prepared for it? The man said, Nothing except I love you. Allah and his messenger. The prophet say, you will be with those whom you love. Well, isn't it a happy life to live with someone you love forever? Dear brothers and sisters, as yet, we always need reference in doing something. When Allah already sent us Prophet Muhammad as the best reference, I don't get why we should find another idol. So let's now loving him more by reading his biography, conducting his sunnah, and send him the salawat. I believe that is the end of my speech. Thank you very much for your attention, and I apologize if you find any improper speech. Unzur makola wala tanzur mankola. Don't see who's talking, but see what the talking is about. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.